Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome to Islands of Insight, a weirdly beautiful curiosity uh, that we're going to spend some time examining here. I think this thing's kind of fascinating, but we probably we probably need to start with a little story time before we actually get into it. So this is a game that came out like roughly a month ago, uh, and I played it during the last Steam Next Fest. I played the demo and I thought it was interesting, but I didn't make a video about it then because I thought it just it feels unfinished. Let's see what it you know, what it grows into. Um, it is, however, an online game. It's sort of a multiplayer, a massively multiplayer thing. You're connected to a server uh, and the news came out today that the dev team is like desperately looking for work. The, the phrase they used was sudden and unexpected. Um, so clearly they're having some financial problems. I don't think the game sold as well as they were hoping. And I'm a little bit worried that you know, they say they're going to try to keep supporting it, but I'm a little worried it might disappear or it might become hard to access. And I definitely want to, I don't know, document it at least if, if that's a thing that's going to happen. Cause I think it's sort of a, it's sort of a fascinating, somewhat baffling, uh, <laughs> Like I said, curiosity, I think, is really the best word for it. So this is a massively multi multiplayer online 3D puzzle game with all of the things that all of those ideas entail. And I think it's really, it, it's such a bizarre combination because there's nothing about the actual gameplay. There's nothing about the puzzle aspects of it that benefits from being online at all. Um, but you know, there are, we are connected to a server right now. There are other players running around in this world on the left side of the screen there. You can see there is a text feed of every time anyone solves a puzzle, but there's no chat. There's no way to communicate with other players. There's no puzzles that you do with other players. There's not really a way for you to interact with anyone besides, you know, running near them and looking at their avatar. And there are some emotes, um, you can't help each other with things. There's nothing to help each other with. There's no uh, PVP, obviously. It's just like, what if everybody who was connected to the witness was all connected to the same server and you could see other people running around and playing the witness while you were playing it? I don't know. It's a very strange idea and it's very strangely implemented as you will, uh, as you will come to see. But, and I do want to get this out here before, before we're, we're too deep in. I think the puzzle stuff is really good. Like it's really, there's a lot of really compelling um, uh, puzzle work and it is just fun to run around in the big weird world and take in the cool aesthetic and find puzzles hidden all over the place. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know how many episodes of this there are gonna be, but like, we're just gonna document this, this extremely rad, actually kind of baffling thing. <laughs> Um, that these people, these people put a lot of work into. And it is a lot of work, because, I mean, look at how pretty it is. Well, hold on, sorry, this is Tutorial Island. We're done with this part. The islands of uh, Insight are over here. There we go. That's the sort of situation we're looking at. And like I said, it feels like just a huge amount of work. I have a quest over that way, I think. So I guess, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, apologies for performance hitches, weird stuff, uh, the character jumping back and forth due to unexplainable lag. That's all stuff that, that is going to happen probably, and I have no control over it because that's the game they developed. Uh, so because it is a multi multiplayer, a massively multiplayer game, and because all the information is stored on their servers, and because, like I said, they kind of didn't think through all of the stuff and it doesn't feel entirely finished, there was no way for me to make like a secondary account or a second character or reset my progress or anything like that in any way. So we are playing in exactly the state that I ended the demo in. And that was, you know, two months, a month and a half ago, something like that. And I don't remember where I was or what puzzles I've done or, or what. Um, I do remember that there is a map and we can, we can use this probably to help us figure some things out. A lot of people kind of all over the place. Um, there's also a skill tree. There's like, <laughs> like a talent tree. I don't really know. Hold space to jump extremely high. It can be used up to three times, but it takes five minutes to recharge. What? 
Well, I do. I do have the currency for that. There are two different currencies. I don't know what they're called, but one of them is for this stuff. Like, what else? What else can we buy here? Armillary rings give additional sparks and master. I don't. I don't know what that means. So there's masteries for all the different kinds of puzzles. You can see there's actually kind of a lot, and half of them I haven't discovered yet because we're still, you know, very early on. I also don't exactly know how much game this is. Um, that's another thing I, that might be worth noting. But it's quite on sale on Steam right now uh, to go along with the announcement that the devs are looking for income. And, you know, I hope that I hope that at least some of you see this thing and end up buying it because I do think I do think it's pretty rad. Flood painting in the grid puzzles. What a weird thing to sell. And as far as I know, you can't like spend money on these currencies or anything. You get them by doing the puzzles. I don't know. Like I said, baffling. I just don't know why they did the things that they did, but yeah, sure. Teach me how to charge jump. It takes five minutes to recharge, so don't screw around with it. All right, so one thing I can tell you for sure uh, is that these spheres that are floating around everywhere are a kind of puzzle. If you can find a position in the world, looks to me like maybe here's what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can find a position in the world where they look like a ring, more or less, there you go. You just click and it, yeah, sky drop mastery, blue cubes, woo. Uh, this here is an armillary ring puzzle. The goal of these is you want to find a position to look through them. And not all of the puzzles are perspective based, but a couple of them are. Um, you want to find a position to look through them where you can, you can see a line that would go through all of the golden rings, but not any of the onyx rings. Like I think right here. Oh, sensitivity is a little high. There we go. Yeah, and there's just like puzzles. There's puzzles everywhere. Every five inches, there's some kind of new puzzle you're stumbling over. And that's that's the game. You're just wandering around, getting into puzzles. It does have a, a quite a bit in common with like the sort of the, the magic feeling of the witness. Uh, and obviously the witness was doing a whole uh, a whole sort of other thing at the same time with the with the philosophical elements in that. I don't know that this game is, is going to be doing that, um, but it is still fun to just wander around and find puzzles. Hey, look, it's an actual person. Hold to interact. Nah, I'm good. I'll work on the same puzzle that they're working on. Okay, so the rules. Just fill this in without making this pattern or this pattern. Uh, and for for the purposes of these things, rotations and mirrors of the patterns do count. So, which button does what? Left puts down, okay, right puts down a white box, left puts down a black box. So obviously this has to be white, which means this has to be black. So we're just trying to avoid ever making three in a row of anything, right? So that's white and that's white and that's white. This is, this looks like it's pretty simple. Although actually, did we just hit the end of that logic chain? Uh, maybe we did. Okay, well this would have to be black, which means these two are white, which means these two are black. Yeah, and a lot of it's like pretty simple puzzles all told. Obviously had to put a black one in there, but they are very satisfying to do. By the way, a lot of the hesitation where you see me, where you see me like not act like I don't know what to do for a second in a spot where it's really obvious which color to put down. Um, at least some of that is just me not remembering which button does which. The black one is left click. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, where else do we know for sure? Well, this would have to be white. This would have to be white. Uh, this would have to be black. That's gonna have to be black, which means those two are white, which means that's black. This then is white. Uh, let's see here. It 
looks like this could be either... Okay, this one has to be white, which means this one has to be black. There we go. There's no reason to guess, right? Like, it's it's usually... Usually somewhere there's a thing. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh, uh -huh. Which makes that black, which makes that white. Uh, this one, for the horizontal reasons, has to be black. Okay. Okay, so when, when these have the blue glowing bulbs above them, they're things you've done. It was it was purple before, right? Okay, that was a level 87 tuna that we just saw there, I think. All dark regions have area four, all light regions have area four. Okay, um... Okay, well then this has to be white because these two these two boxes can't connect. So this gains one block. It's a difficulty two of five. It's already got me thinking a little bit. Like it would seem it seems intuitively to me that there are a lot of different uh, legal setups here. But there must be some reason that's not true. So the black shape can't connect to this black shape over here either. But it seems like it would be fine, right, for like these two to be black, that one to be white, and then just... I guess I'm just gonna try... Like, what if these are black? Make all those white. All right, this works. It may be the case that some of these have multiple solutions. I actually don't know for sure. I don't, I don't, it's possible that they tell you at the beginning of the game, whether or not the puzzles can have multiple solutions. But like I said, I don't remember the beginning of the game. So I sure wish I could have reset progress and sort of gotten all the tutorials over again. Hey, that looks important. Am I allowed to touch that? Time has witnessed countless moments of sublime beauty. And I have been fortunate to behold a world that made my heart quake. Its memory now lives here, in the known realm, where it cannot be forgotten. Okay, there's lore. It's... something. <laughs> okay, those things down there are jump jets, for sure. Um, you know, I don't want to get too distracted. Oh, that puzzle's not awake. Huh. Okay, I think I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to find the location that this represents. A temple with, like, a closed door. All right, well, we'll just carry this around with us. So that's the one we just did. Yeah, we'll try to find some more puzzle types here, just so you can y'all can see some more weird stuff. What's this? Find five hidden relics within the boundary. Well, this is going to be problematic because I don't remember what a hidden relic looks like. I guess let's just look around for a thing that seems conspicuous. All right, where else? If I was hiding weird hidden relics, where? Okay, little little bit of lag and hiccups there. Well, that's right. I got to remember. I can, I can super jump, in case I suspect one is hidden way up high. Which honestly, it might be. That's just a hidden cube. That's a different thing. I completed a different puzzle while we were in the middle of this game of hide and seek. Although I guess, you know, puzzle's a big word. I completed a different game of hide and seek. Okay, let's, um... Part of this temple is within the bounds of our thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get up on top of some of these structures. Okay, 
Okay, well, there's a jump pad here. Where exactly does it go? Okay, well, there is one over there. Let's go actually land up there. All right. I can't quite make it, but we are we're able to hit him in the air. All right, let's test out this charge jump ability. How high is, oh wow, okay, yeah. That's something. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Like a lot more. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be up here though in what would I what I would think of as sort of the obvious place for it to be. Uh, we do have a double jump normally, so we can kind of see up on top of stuff. No, this is interesting. Where is the last one? That's one we got already. Ooh, okay. There's a little bit of space over here. Yeah, as far as I as far as I know, there's no like um, audio element for you're getting warmer or anything like that. It's just ooh, hey, okay, there is something out there, and that I know what that is, and we'll go interact with it in a moment. Where haven't we looked within this boundary? I guess actually like in the trees that's a place that I don't feel like I've, I've played particular uh, paid particular attention to could it be like oh I think e maybe there's like a shape no I think I'm just seeing tree branches overlapping each other but you can see why that would be a good place to hide one because it is like it is an area where there are already shapes overlapping each other. Ah, oh, this one's actually, um, actually tricky. Here, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll scratch this for now. Let me, do I just give up or how, how do I surrender? Oh, never mind. How do I claim victory? That's pretty, that's pretty sneaky. Okay, over here we saw a hidden archway. So the closer you get to these, the more they build in. And if you just walk through one, it gets a little, it gets a little thing on it and remains visible to you from a distance. And yeah, like I said, a hundred kinds of puzzles. Ah, uh, this is okay. There is some ways to interact with other players. This person's dropping pings that we can see. What is your deal? Okay, you are the source of my quest to solve cubic puzzles. Am I allowed to? No, okay, it looks like I, you have a quest. All right. That's fine. I would love to get 2,000 of that whatever, that, that currency. All right, this is the kind of puzzle. I remember these. Um, somewhere in the environment, there is a green block that has this same symbol etched into it. We have to find the place that you can stand such that you can see the red block and the green block at the same time. Like I said, not all perspective puzzles, but there are, there are a few. <laughs> there are a few that are perspective based. All right, all this stuff is asleep. Complete the Empyrean journey. I don't even know what that means. That one, that one's live. We're allowed to do that one. Connect all dark cells without making those patterns. And these are all 
without making four. Okay. So all the Dark Souls have to be connected, which means all of these are going to be light. As are all of these. Okay. So the Dark Souls all have to be orthogonally connected, but you can never make four in any direction. Seems pretty straightforward. It was it was a single a one difficulty. It might be the case that I'm so early in the game that we only have access to easy puzzles. Maybe if we focus on things like earning our wings, we'll um we'll unlock more stuff. So that's more lore. Oh, here's a green box, but it has a different symbol on it. Yeah, and there's just like there's just like floating puzzles and glowing stuff to touch and there's things everywhere all the time. And I do I do find it like deeply compelling. I just want to run around and touch all this stuff. This is interesting. I don't know what this is about. I'm sure it is again part of a like a perspective situation. What's this one? No four in a row. The scenic route. Okay, but we're allowed to we're allowed to do light four in a row. It seems like is the is the answer to this puzzle not just that? Okay, it's one where it's iterative. So there's yeah. It is also the lowest possible difficulty. So all dark cells are connected, but you can't make that pattern means at least one of these two is white. Actually, they both are white, right? They must be because yeah, it's going to have to be like that. Okay. I can see the value of fill paint. I suppose it's weird that that's a, <laughs> that's the thing you unlock. So again, dark cells. Right, that's no good. Uh, I did something wrong here. So this this is gonna have to be like that because that's gotta be white. There it is. Uh, so there is some white in here somewhere. I guess we don't know that this extends all the way to the bottom. It doesn't have to necessarily. We do know that that's true, though. This would have to be white. And then this is going to have to walk around there to, to avoid creating four black in a row. Now, see here, this one could just reach down. We don't actually know whether it goes around here, so we don't know whether that's black or not. Um... So, yeah, this this can't extend down because if it did, it would trap the black cells in the corner. That's straightforward enough. Okay, one more. Two entire difficulty points. We're really doing it, friends. Okay, so the black obviously can't extend that way. It would take too many cells in a row. Uh, what else? Well, we can't build can't build a black line down here. But so I guess this will end up being white because the black will have to extend this way then, which means there's three in a row there. Two. two, two. Uh, right, so that blocks that off to, to both sides. Uh, we can't connect through there, but this does have to turn, which means that's got to be white. You collected a new insight. Pattern near misses. 
With forbidden patterns, try searching for near misses that are one tile away and fill in the other color. For example, if the dark four in a row shape is forbidden, this is, this is the tactic I just used to solve that puzzle. That's interesting. <laughs> so, sorry, what? <laughs> so this is sort of what I was talking about when I say I find it kind of baffling. A lot of things are happening. New upgrade, chromatic sky drops. What does that even, what does that mean? It took me to this screen, but I don't see. Okay, here we go. Power up that makes chrome, sky drops easier to see for 60 seconds, which spawns 5% of the time after solving a sky drop. What? <laughs> I guess it means, I guess what it means is probably from the name, chromatic. Probably it, like it makes each sky drop pattern that you can see um, like a different color from the sky drops that are in other patterns so that it's easier for you to pick out which things are which. Because like right now, as we look around, right? Like there's no guaranteeing that all of these sky drops are part of one pattern. Although, actually I'm pretty sure they are because look at that. Or that those are all part of one pattern. You, you know, you just see like a lot of a lot of circles near a lot of other circles. Um, it seems like pretty good. Uh, the 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 tell is really like the size, because from the correct perspective, they all seem to be the same size. So if you see them sort of spiraling down, like funneling down like that, there it is. If you can find where the little one points to, that's the spot, it seems like. Who knows what puzzle that's part of. But yeah, we're just discovering. Never mind. I know. This one. What is going on here? Puzzle have a face? Oh, I vaguely remember this from the demo. So yeah, if I click and drag, we can make the shape do weird things. But I'm trying I'm trying to make it look like the pattern on the right there. In some way. But I don't I don't I don't think I accomplished a single one of these. I have no idea technique wise what to be doing even so I want oh. there was a hiccup and then it was solved I don't know what happened look at, <laughs> look at all that mastery though okay all right what's your story tiny glowing ball Oh, it wants me to, like, follow the path. Or maybe it's just get there fast enough? Yeah, it might be a speed thing. Oh, don't run away, don't run away. Okay. That echo was wandering. No two ways about that. Oh, you can see red cubes in the environment. But we see no green cubes to match them to. If I get over here. So the green cube that we saw that was like over near the door of the temple had like. Like L's on it, right? It was like a, a reflected L pattern. Ooh, those are the same, but I can't really see the red one. Oh, hey there. You, oh, no, wait, you, and you. You know, a matchbox. Always more of a Micro Machines girl myself, but... I just, I liked how fast that guy talked. I thought that was really fun.
And we have a built-in zoom ability here, which is, which is cool. Ah, uh, yeah, once they're done, they, uh, oh. Wait, we saw, we saw a red box that looked like that recently, didn't we? Was it, is it on the other side of this wall? It is. Okay, so this wall is the thing. It's tricky, though. I think you might have to be, like, he down here to do that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think, like, if I was right here. Nope. Hmm. Are these visible from the sides of the statues? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Easy. I wonder what the other half of the puzzles are like. Also, I should stop getting distracted. I'm doing something. I'm supposed to be doing something. Hold on. That's a small sky drop. I must view the ring. Close enough. That's interesting. This one's unusually high off the ground. Oh, because it's one that you're supposed to look up for. I think we're getting XP. Okay, that was a type of puzzle that I've never solved before. A pattern of light projected onto the environment. Uh, we did see another one of those on the ground in the tunnel, or in the temple, so that'll be, that'll be another easy pickup. Is this a game about just, like, walking around and noticing things in your environment? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I'm finding it extremely rad and compelling, though. Perhaps it's... Perhaps it's just me. I think this rules. So that one, you would, like, look down at it? All right. Let's... Where's my wings? Somebody's supposed to have wings for me. Maybe. Okay, this will, uh... No, I've already awakened the Verdant Clan. But this will unlock logic grids? Weightless rocks drift toward the azure canopy. We take a leap of trust and are as untethered as the wind. These might be metaphorical wings, you know? Complete the Empyrean journey. Whee! Oh. Oh, you're supposed to hit that at a moment during the... Okay. At a moment during the flip. So complete the chain of logic grids to earn your wings. Also, there's hidden rings and armor, armillary rings and all kinds of shit everywhere. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Okay, that's cool. That's a, that's a type of that puzzle that I had not seen yet. So we have, hold on, um, where's the button for my upgrades? We have an upgrade available that just causes us to get more resources from doing the ring puzzles. Should I be focused on that? Maximum gliding speed. I mean, I do love additional rewards. It, <laughs> the thing is, my, my long history of playing like strategy and Forex games makes me see any gain to income as like obviously the thing you should take the moment you can take it right why wouldn't you want the number to go up faster but in this place it does feel like it probably doesn't matter in any meaningful way uh these are already good we gotta we gotta find some puzzles with some higher difficulty ratings Uh, sorry, that's the one. There we go. Well, you know, I'm talking shit, but I am also getting errors in the puzzles, so maybe... Boom. So maybe I should just shut up. 
Uh, yeah, there's another ring puzzle up on top of the thing. I mean, if we hit it from basically anywhere over here, it's going to go through that one big, that one big bad ring. What's your deal? I'm going to, I'm going to jump through it. This is totally going to work. Okay. That was the puzzle. So you, so to speak, you know. Uh, all right, well, obviously that's gotta be black, so that's white. So if those are black, so these are white. Yes, thank you, Insight. <laughs> that's kind of funny, because like that's how every puzzle game works, right? But they don't usually tell you explicitly, hey, you identified the thing. That is That is funny to me. I'm just looking for hidden stuff. Uh, so we can break all of these off to the sides. These two are not going to connect. So, like, you have to go off. In theory, the five could be here. We don't know for sure whether it is or isn't. But even if it is, these are all true, right? These must be true. We can leave that that way for now. Um, this is true for sure. All of the dark cells must be connected is a thing I was not looking at. Uh, yeah, that means that means that we have to go around this thing. So that's true. This must be true and this must be true. This has to be able to get out. This has to be able to get out. So there's our five. We have to insulate the four from the three. Meaning that all that is true. Uh, what else? Oh, well, the, yeah, the dark shape has to be able to come down here. Well, these, this shape could connect this way. But we know that that's true, at least. Because the, the this shape needs to continue out a little further. Which means the dark shape needs to continue out at least this far. Well, no, sorry. If this doesn't connect, then the, the tetromino over here is completely separated from everything. Which means that's the bound of the white six. Uh, yeah, this needs to be true. Because otherwise this shape is isolated. And then... These are not yet, the, the top left is not yet connected to the rest of it. So. This and this can't both be white. One of them is and one of them isn't. If this one's the white one, then the black is going to extend this way and it's going to force this to be white in order to potentially link up. It's going to force this to be white, which is going to uh, join the shapes. So that's definitely not correct. Yeah, here we go. This this looks right. Um, and that makes you there and not here, certainly. So, okay, cool. I like the fact that, like, basically, exploration is almost always rewarded. There's so much stuff everywhere. Only almost always. Yeah, it is kind of just like a constant, it's a constant flow of rewards, which I know is, like, the most common manipulation technique, <laughs> um... Oh, interesting. Don't make four in a row white. Okay. Once again, always going to forget. So these have to stay separate. Actually, we don't know that that's white because that this the three shape could extend this way. But we do know that this continues to happen. Oh, wait. No, oh, hold on. No, we don't know that. All right. So this is right. These have to be separated like this, which means that the white shape must continue down here and here. They still have to stay separated. 
which means that this white shape has to continue down, but this one could turn, actually. And now that we have this here, we know that's true, so this has to turn, making this black, because they can't possibly touch each other. Uh, oh, I guess we know, um, we know this as well. I, it is so hard for me to remember which button does what. Okay, that's true. Which leaves this like a pretty narrow channel. What are we? I'm not counting. Four, eight, twelve. That's white. This can't be so. Those shapes have to be separated. Yeah. It's interesting that that's still a one. Because, like, it's not hard, but it's... It feels to me a little bit harder than the other one. Oh, no, that is shooting through the one ring, isn't it? There we go. And I like the way that after you do them, you can you can walk around and see, like, see in 3D space the ray that you created. That's cool. Easy. Ooh, can I make that? I sure can. Okay. Was it good? Was that a good idea? Was that a productive thing to do? I don't know. All right. Thanks, mysterious voice. So yeah, I don't know if it was just like look everywhere to get rewards, um, to get the little Skinner box thing happening. I guess like that's. In, in a way that's menacing, but it's but it's a little puzzle. Everywhere I look, there's like a little puzzle to do. And I love that. Okay, so uh, no matter what, these spaces have to be white, right? Because this can't contain all of the eight. And in fact, even if all six of these are white, these, these, shape, these spaces must be white at the very least. Which means that the seven builds up this way. That's, yeah, that's seven. Okay, and that means these do, in fact, have to be white. All right, I think we've done all of the stuff over here. All of the stuff that isn't actually following the path of the, of the lights. Oh, no, I didn't actually do this before I went and leapt off a... Of cliff just because it was fun to do so. Okay, these are separated from each other. We know that. Which means all of these things are true. Okay. Those two extend up there and that's finished you off. So now we have a five uh, sorry, six. The the space with the number on it counts. So this is six, seven, no, seven, eight. There we go. Uh, this is a five, six, seven, eight, nine. Easy. All right, do I see any more vaguely defined rings in the air? I do not. Okay, all right, almost didn't make that. Okay, just a bunch of twos. Um, this one's dark. This one's de definitely going to be dark. This feels like it, it could extend either way, really. Nope, never mind. I kind of smashed my face into the side of that, but I appreciate that they gave it to me anyway. Uh, that one's done. It's got the blue... Probably do the ones that are like obvious and right next to me. 
the thing is, it's not even like the one color is intuitive and the other color isn't, because no matter which button did which, I would forget. Incomplete area numbers that can only expand in one direction must do so. That's true. I don't know how you would get this far without realizing that, but it is true. Uh, here, let me do this. Actually, let me jump on that, and while I'm in the air from that, go forward into that thing. Hmm. There we go. Clearly not walking forward enough. All, right, all the dark cells connect and there are no two by two dark cells. Okay. Well, if all the dark cells connect, this is necessary. That'll be dark as well. Uh, that'll have to be dark. One of these two is dark, so the three doesn't go straight across here. All right, to keep these spaces, uh, to keep these shapes separate, with the right number, all of that stuff has to be true. This has to be dark to keep everything connected. Uh, this can't be lit because it'll prevent the dark from connecting, so this is the other spot for the four. And then this has to be dark too. This has to be light to prevent the formation of a square. Uh, oh, that's, that's already six. What am I doing? That has to be dark, so this has to be light, so this has to be dark, so the dark, this shape doesn't get trapped in the corner. All right, all of that stuff is good. This has to be light. There we go. I like that it, it highlights objectives as you complete them. Did we get this? No, we couldn't get it from the floor. This is a little trickier with these two these two small rings near the top. Yeah, there's really only this side you could get this from. Okay. Now I feel like I'm ready to move on. In, in the tree roots over here there is wait some of these um yeah some of these are not involved in that other puzzle we did earlier hmm this is a little weird it's i'm up on this tree root which is making this kind of complicated like that looks pretty good not good enough, though, says the game. I don't think zooming in affects my movement um, at all, so I don't know why I tried that. There we go. Yeah, being up on the tree root doesn't work. You have to, you have to be on the flat surface. Uh, let's see here. So the three is going to have to be like this to avoid connecting to the two. Hey, I leveled up. What does that mean? I don't, uh, I don't 100% know. Okay, so this, the only direction this can expand in is right here. Otherwise, it is going to become a much larger group than it says it's supposed to be. This will have to expand down to touch those. There we go. See, the tricky thing about doing puzzles like this um, on camera is that if I talk through them, I'm necessarily doing them slower than, you know, like my brain can do them. But I don't want to, like... 
leave people behind, people who don't see the solutions. But I feel silly when I, <laughs> it feels silly to say like really obvious things, but at the same time, that's what the gameplay is right now. I don't know. That's... Y'all can probably follow along. I probably don't need to, I probably don't need to belabor it quite so much. We'll just pick up a lot of sky drops while we're sort of in the area. There we go. That's really cool, the way the obelisks line up to tell you where to stand. It feels like there are environmental hints for the correct location like that in a lot of places. I just need to actually notice them. There are a lot of gibbons carved into this uh, stonework around here. Are there gibbons in Egypt? I mean, I'm sure there are monkeys of some kind. All right, well, I think the only way we're getting high enough to hit that ring is by doing it off of this booster. Oh, no, I jumped very wrong and also the frame rate changed dramatically as I was jumping. All right, kind of all you have to do is touch it, which I appreciate. That's really cool. So, okay, the, the, the blue cubes are the experience points. I'm, I'm cobbling it together. Again, this is probably explained, uh, but you know, tutorial. I went through a tutorial, I think, sometime long, long ago. So we're just gonna finish this whole area and then we'll call it for, for today. So these have to be separated, these have to be separated, which makes that one really easy. Obviously that can't be the case, so that's pretty easy. Uh, the four can't touch those, she says, connecting them. The seven's gonna have to, I assume. Right, so because, yeah, because of the four, we have to do that, and then that is, nope, there we go. Don't overload areas. If filling in a tile would cause an area number to be part of an area larger than, the, yep, okay. It is sort of interesting, like, I, like I'm, I'm joking about, like, how you would have to already know that to have solved the puzzle that way. But it is kind of interesting for people who are not as good at, like, there's a lot of people who can sort of like intuitively solve a puzzle, but then could not put into a cogent English sentence exactly what the principle was that they used to solve that. And I imagine that if, um, cause I've like watched my mom play puzzle games before and I know that that's the case. Um, I imagine if, if you are such a person, then it's probably actually uh, pretty helpful to have the game do that for you so that you can um, you can sort of like reapply it more effectively. Okay, weird bit of latency repositioning there. So there's a three point puzzle here, but these orbs are blue. Doesn't that mean I've solved them already? Well, I mean, I definitely haven't solved this. Okay, so don't make that pattern. All of the black ones are connected, but we don't know that this is black because they could connect around the other side. So let's hold off on, let's just try to figure out what else is definitely true. Um, what else must be? So let's see, this three could extend out to here. It could be like that. 
there are not necessarily any spaces in common except for the one that has the three on it in those two ideas. What about the five? The five's going to have to... So let's see here. The five could run... Here, here. Actually, the five must be this, right? Because all of these tiles are, are effectively locked off. Which means this one absolutely is dark. This one must also be dark. As must this one. Uh, and then to connect here, that must be dark. So these are all dark as well. The dark tile here has to come around. Okay. But we mustn't make the forbidden shape. So that's dark, that's dark. This is light, so these things connect through here. Uh, speaking of the forbidden shape, that's going to be a light one. Nope, there we go. That's that. But I just made a white box, but I just can't, <laughs> cannot for the life of me keep it. <laughs> Ugh, okay. This is fine, right? Yeah, everything's connected here. Oh, right. Except not like that. All right. We knew this, right? This has to be white as well. Oh, this is a problem. I screwed something up somewhere. So this would be one, two, three. Yeah, it can't be... The white can't run up to here. Well, if the white runs up to there like that, yeah, no, that works. That works. I was thinking the white can't run up to here because then it creates a group of six. But what if one of those just isn't actually supposed to be white? Okay, that one was, in fact, more difficult. That took a little bit of, a little bit of consideration, it did. Every single time. <laughs> and see, this is why I'm a little worried about like things like the upgrade that gives you bonus points for not making a mistake on a puzzle. Because the definition of mistake that they're using is one that I just can't... I can't guarantee, you know? Right, and that is six more cells. So every time we every time we do a puzzle, we get experience with that puzzle type. And if that fills the experience ring for that puzzle type, then that's when we get a blue cube and that goes into the actual XP meter, which levels us up, which controls which things we have access to in the upgrades menu that I still don't know how to access. I know M gets me the map, and then I can get to upgrades from there. But we still only have, like, 533 of Sparks. This is Sparks. It would have to be if the blue one's Mastery. This is... It, it is so funny to me that they, like... They sell you... And not, not money sell, but, you know, sell... They sell you the ability to, like, do the puzzles more efficiently. That's so weird. Highlights the edge of sentinel stones when they become obscured by other stones. Huh. What a curious thing. What a, what a strange group of words. All right. Well, I think we did everything that's down on this little ledge. Hmm, that one is a little bit more of a challenge. Can I from here? Well, I could use the charge jump, obviously. And then I don't know if this is the intended way of accessing that area, but the puzzle up there is also getting charge jumped. Well, I wanna land on the tall part. 
I think we left the area of the uh, we left the region for a moment there. Okay, this one's supposed to be like actually difficult. All right. Well, this three is kind of interesting. It doesn't have a lot of places it can go. Unfortunately, it, it is like here, here, and here are all viable, and it's going to be two of those three, but we can't, I suppose, at this moment know which. Uh, you could just extend up here. Try to look like, what else do we know for sure? So si uh, similar to the three, this four has like five spaces that it can fill in. One of those is not going to be light. Okay, what about down in this corner? Down in this corner, we have an interesting thing because all of the dark cells have to connect, right? So this cell could be light. If it is, this cell must be dark. But it can't be the other way around. This cell, yeah, th this cell can't be light because it would require a dark isolated cell. So this cell has to be dark. That doesn't tell us whether this is dark or not, but we know this at least. And then because this is dark, this must also be dark because otherwise it wouldn't be able to connect to the rest of the world. So that's something. The two could reach this way or it could reach that way. They're both fine, it seems like. Um, yeah, it's hard to know. Like this three... Well, this three, actually, like this cell has to be light, right? This three has four spaces in which it can occur, and all of the all of the formations, all of the legal formations, take up that space, which means that one is dark. This one is certainly a little bit more challenging to get started on. What else do we definitely know? Okay, so this four could extend up into here. It doesn't have to. Yeah, unfortunately, like it could be all the way out to the left. It could be down here. There, there are no squares that are for sure part of this right now. If this two runs out to the right, no, it doesn't necessarily like, what we need to do is find a thing that must be or a thing that is impossible. And then we build from there. These fours still, I think, just have a little bit too much breathing room to tell us very much. It is still legal for like for the twos for them to be extended out in any direction. Yeah, all of the fours. It feels like all of the fours have just a little bit too much breathing room. Hmm. Okay, well, like, one thing that we do know for sure is that this must have at least one black neighbor. These two cells can't both be white. Does that mean very much? It's like, for the three, it's either these three are white and that's dark, or these three are white and that and that are dark. But then there's like a there's a staggering number of acceptable formations for this four in the corner, and yeah, it doesn't particularly care 
whether or not this thing's available. Hmm, what am I missing? What's the obvious thing that I'm missing? Oh, I was saying this three has um, like four spaces it could fill and it could be any two of them, but it actually can't, it can't be this because then you'd have isolated dark spaces in the corner. So that means the three, this must be a light space. Which means this must be a dark space. Which means this must be a dark space. Yeah, there we go. That's something. This has to be dark as well so that I can reach out and connect to things. I believe that means this is the only legal position for this four. I think so. The dark has to reach out like that. Uh, this dark shape has to reach out like that. Yep, that was that was the critical insight, huh? Okay, what else? This four could still be in a variety of shapes, but this uh, no, this space could be light, and the dark could go around it, and then the four could be down here. Um. There's no restriction on the shapes that we can form with the dark squares here. All right, this has to be lit. Because if this was dark, it would be separated. But then it does seem like the four could fill in the other spaces here. Two of the, two of the remaining three spaces in that corner, kind of however it wants. There's no reason this isn't dark, though. Okay, this four could be shaped like that. It could be shaped like this. But this space has to be light, I think. Right, there's not enough room for it to tuck into the corner. So that actually does give us some interesting stuff. Like it finishes the three. Meaning that um, this four is actually a little bit more determined, right? Those two spaces must be, and actually this has to be, has to be black. So yeah, all of those have to connect. That's good. If these were both white, this would be black. If they're not, yeah, that's, I think we still don't know a lot there. Like this could be white, but if it was, it would be the edge. So I guess actually the four shape has to contain this. The only legal shapes for it now are that and that. And that being the case, that does fill in some more stuff for us. Which means this is this now. We must make this square black to connect that. And yeah, it kind of looks to me like there's a couple of different legal solves here, right? Cause like, oh, interesting point. This has got to be the white square then. Yeah, I didn't even see how that was shutting off this corner. And if I was doing something like this on paper, honestly, I might not have. I might have just gone ahead and said that was the solve and and been wrong. Can you imagine anything so horrifying? Looks to me like these, yeah, point over to here. Okay. That, yeah, that four difficulty was actually, like, that's a pretty satisfying puzzle. Wait, more. More puzzle. Moss puzzle. Okay, don't make this pattern. So immediately we have 
four tiles in the corners that we know must be white, which means this is a separation. Uh, what else? The threes actually could be reaching out to the corners. That totally might work. Uh, I guess I should probably draw these in because these are these are definitely real. Nope, so the four reaches out to here. The three does this. So no matter which spot that goes down, we're going to draw a black square here. We know that. Which means that no matter where this goes down, we're going to end up drawing a black square here. How useful was that? I am uh, not, it doesn't seem hugely. So let's see, we know these aren't both dark. That's interesting. Right, to avoid making a square of black squares. These can't both be black, so. But I don't think we have a good sense of which one of the two white shapes is reaching into that space. What else do we know? Uh, I think the, all of the legal uh, shapes for this four involve this square, right? Because if it, if it reaches up to here, it's blocked off by the five. Yeah, I think, I think that square is definitely white. Although I don't know how helpful that is. Well, I guess actually what that does is it tells us that the five is not reaching all the way down to this. This cell can't be part of the five shape. Which means that the five actually only has one legal shape at that point, right? I believe that is true, yeah. So this can't be part of the four. But we have five squares here, of which it is occupying four of them, and we don't yet, we don't yet know exactly which ones. Oh, sorry, we, we know this has to be white to avoid the shape. And that means this can't be white. So, okay, that's all good. That's all interesting. Um, this also has to be white because of the square. So this is white, so this is white, so this is white. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing stuff. Did I get a, I got a Mirabilis. What the fuck is a Mirabilis? Is that, wait, maybe that's what the blue, the blue cubes are called, are, are Mirabili? What is that? I think I'm earning cosmetics. Okay, maybe nine masteries to next level. So it's a mastery, not a mirabilis. But like, see, this says I have six blue cubes. And this says I'm three blue cubes into level five in a way that's going to be... So maybe the blue cube is a mirabilis and this is just... It's just a, sort of a bad, an ugly coincidence that they used um, a blue cube and the same color of blue square to represent two different things? <laughs> Maybe. Encyclopedia. What is... Insights. We know about insights. The lore fragments we're unlocking. What? An echo of time? I, I don't know. 
Mysteries. <laughs> question marks. What's a mystery? It turns out question marks. That's probably true. Bye bye me. Okay. There's one more set of armor Larry rings and four more hidden rings. Is that, I mean, there's an armillary ring set over there. Oh, and somebody fell off a thing. Well, see, that has more cubes as well. All right, let's see here. Let me, let me do this. Oh, let me remember to actually solve all the puzzles in the line, huh? Fair point, video game, fair point. Okay, so that's all the stuff that we know just like right off the bat here. Five, six, seven. So it's never gonna get beyond this square. But I guess like, yeah, it's the only legal arrangement that gives them both the room they need. Oh, Reaper Slayer has put down a question mark there for some reason. Maybe he's trying to say that he didn't he couldn't solve the puzzle over there? The puzzle that that's kind of near? Maybe. Could be. This one has a lot of boxes to it, but it does not actually seem very difficult. Every single time. Every single time. Why am I so bad at remembering these things? It's the shape of my wings. Oh, right. We're supposed to be getting wings here, and that's how we would reach that other island. I gift you the flame that burns within. It is time to spread your wings and take to the skies. How is this the flame that burns within? Okay. Uh, triple jump to fly. Or press E while in the air to start flying. Okay, it didn't actually do it there. Oh, wow. You have, like, really have... As long as you're going forward, you don't lose hardly any... Uh, um, what's it word? What's the word? Uh, altitude at all really you know what you and I are going to have words later I have cubes to solve yeah it's that's really interesting they give you a lot of <laughs> a lot of freedom with that okay so this is white which means nope come on okay there we go yeah the lag spikes while you're working on like, these little puzzles feel very strange. Bonus objective, solve eight sky drops. That just kind of came out of nowhere. We've already got quite a few of them. All right, that particular echo seems content to wait for me, which I appreciate. Okay, I can cancel my wings at any time to fall. My character looks so bored. It's like, oh, yay, another, another one of these. I'm not so bored, but the character is just having a terrible time.
Okay, and that has awakened all of the puzzles back over on the logic grids with area numbers. <laughs> what a beautiful, mystical thing. Uh, there are two sky drops that I did not get. Oh, well, one of them we know is the one way at the beginning where it, you, it, it's just live for a moment as you're jumping through. But there is another one that I missed entirely. Interesting. I'm not going to stress about it too much. Thank you for your help, small orb. The ancient energy of the Mirabilis is more vital than you could imagine. For the fracture will not remain silent forever. What's the fracture? What are we talking about? Well, I apparently have solved enough puzzles to turn in my rare luminous quest. I guess let's go down here first, though. Well, I was gonna... I was gonna turn my wings on. I was just waiting until, you know, the moment. I mean, does it let me do this? Like... Huh. Hey, what's that over there? Is this okay? Am I allowed to approach this in this way? Is it gonna tell me to tread softly or whatever? I think it doesn't want you to fall too far too fast, but I think if you are descending pretty slowly, it seems fine. Sure, like a Taco Bell. I'm with you, I'm following. Not, you have not yet awakened the entrance to this enclave, yet you find yourself within it. Oh, do I get do I get extra points for going to the dungeon before I was supposed to know about the dungeon? The thing is it's an island and you let me fly. That's probably not anything, right? Yeah, let's Man, it is so easy. It is so easy to just keep going. This is a whole different thing. This is a whole different thing than the thing I was supposed to be doing. Okay, we got to stop. I have to stop. It has to stop somewhere. But like you can tell how for a person like me, and you already know at this point if you are a person like me, many of you have bought the game already, I hope. Um, <laughs> this is just like, it is just endlessly compelling. This is the most just like pull you along for one more uh, that I have ever felt, not ever, but that I have felt in a video game in a very long time. And I think it's super rad. And I think that it's a shame that it seems like it did not, it did not get where the devs needed it to get to for yeah, it's just a shame. There's nothing worse for the process of making video games than capitalism. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, that's going to be it for us for today. It has to be. I have to stop playing. When you come back next time, apparently we're going on a little excursion. And we'll see you then.